Good morning, Amina. Welcome to another episode of SEO's Getting Coffee. It's really good to see you today. And yeah, welcome. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's nice to be back with a cup of and having a chat with you is always a indeed. Always, I, I want to say I'm... always a pleasure, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back <laughs> with a coffee as well this time. So. Oh, good. Well, you know, you better be because honestly, you've been uh, slagging on the whole copper well, business. Yes, it's been. Uh, it has been a situation where I've been off the coffee due to drinking water instead because of obviously the illnesses that are around at this time of year. And having oh, small it's children. Not just that. It's not just that. Come on, those are excuses. You had like a couple of times where I you came. Favoring, I was favoring water. I was favoring water. No, it's not just that. Throats. You forgot a couple of times. You forgot to get a cup. It doesn't. It can yeah, be a once, cup of water. Once or twice, I did forget. But the other times, I did actually have to drink water due to actually losing my voice. So <laughs> all right, all um, right. I'll let you've you been a busy bunny, haven't you? Um, you've been out and about. So one of the reasons why we didn't do the, the uh, episode last week is because you were visiting um, the Women in Technical SEO um, event in London. Um, and that's a really good uh, intro, I guess, to ask about that, because today we're going to be talking about SEO conferences and events. Um, so how was your event last week? We haven't had a chance to speak about it at all yet, and I'm really keen to know how it went. And uh, yeah, how, how was it in general? How was it? Well, it was great. I mean, seriously, I've been like going to events for the last over 10 years since I've been in the industry. And, you know, I went to like Brighton SEO when I, I didn't go when it was in the pub, but I did go back when it was in the dome. And everybody was walking around with like T-shirts with animals on it. And I was really new to SEO and I didn't understand what the bloody hell was happening. Um, so I've been going to kind of these conferences for, for quite a while. And the one that I went to on Friday is my first Women in Technical SEO Fest. And it's the best conference I've been to. And I'm not like just saying that, but it really, it was so welcoming so supporting so like everybody was super nice um and plus like the organization of it was brilliant the talks were mm. brilliant um they had a bunch of volunteers who were there always if you needed anything they had a quiet room which i thought was amazing because honestly particularly kind of for the neurodivergent community it's very important to provide these safe spaces where you can, because it can be quite overwhelming going to conferences. So honestly, the, um, nothing, everything good to say about it. Because it's, I guess it's more of a community, right? Um, and I think that's how it's, you know, rather than it, you know, obviously the, the difference in how the more traditional conference or event is that it's very much led by um, store, like very corporate commercial and people trying to sell you stuff. Um, whereas obviously this has got the community angle, right? So is it more of a, um, is it more of a kind of, you know, meet up with your friends and, uh, acquaintances, um, to, and does it give it, does it give it that laid back attitude? Well, you know, it is, it is a commercial event in a way as well. They did have sponsors and they did have a couple of stalls there from selected sponsors, but it wasn't just the atmosphere was completely different. And the sponsors that were there, they were not there to kind of cram their tools down your throat or anything like that. It was really, you know, the conversations that you had was with people who obviously understand SEO and they were there, yes, with the commercial intent as well, but it wasn't the main driver. It wasn't the kind of like, I mean, the main drive, obviously, if you are sponsoring an event, you want the publicity of it and you want the kind of the the, the feedback and potentially clients. But it just didn't feel that way. It was just like the primary thing was it was a community event where you can come, where you could learn, where you can talk to people who are in the same business as you are hmm. yeah it's just it just had i mean it was very similar in like the dome when when brighton seo started the dome was a smaller place uh and i bet when they had it in the pub it was exactly like that but this was like so there were like five more than 500 people from what i understand there i could be wrong 
and it still felt that it retained that yeah. community feel regardless so yeah. yeah it was good yeah i guess then that's that's a real challenge i think and i think you i think you still get that to some extent with the larger conferences and i think you know brighton seo because obviously it's it always comes up in conversation because obviously we're we're based in brighton yeah. so it's always on you know it's it's always on our radar um and you know because obviously so much of the seo community end up coming to brighton during those uh during those those times when the events are um but it's obviously also one of the kind of uh forerunners and and the forefront at, of um uh you know seo conferences isn't it and i think there's definitely st- they do retain that community feel in some respects i think at the brian but i think it's the, one of the challenges i guess is that is to yeah. retain that as you get large, you know, and as you get bigger, I mean, yeah, you know, they, now they've got killed. obviously a, a show in San, San Diego and, you know, you get to that point where you're so large. I think it's a massive challenge for them to retain that. And I think they do a good job of it. I think, you know, all of the community events and the after parties and the, the fringe events yeah. that they do um, is really good. And, and I think they do retain that community um, in some respects. But I think it's always a challenge as obviously, you know, it becomes more successful and more well known. Um you know, to to keep that community vibe, I guess. Yeah. Um, and also as well, I think, you know, perhaps it's something, it's it's encouraging to hear as well that, you know, um, th- this kind of, these kind of events really are starting to kind of uh, come back in a way as well, especially after, yeah. you know, people were, you know, been in their houses uh, as much and like, you know, <laughs> for, for a long time. And, you know, we've had a, um, you know, a kind of fallout of after that, of things slowly starting to kind of start up again and come back that were, you know, because I guess people forget. I think that's what I, I, I find or have found is that, you know, people have forgotten that you can go out and organize an event and start to put a community together and you can bring like minded individuals together to have a chat. And it doesn't necessarily have to all be about um the commercial intent and sales pitches it it, yeah, exactly. it can actually it shouldn't not that yeah, it, exactly, yeah. it it really shouldn't <laughs> yeah it you know it can be actually about sharing knowledge and yeah. also just chatting with people that are in your industry which i think yeah. you know because especially di- digital industries especially digital marketing we spend so much time on screens and so much time on you know on the internet and so much time you know behind our laptops and 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 computers and and whatnot is that we often forget to kind of come away from that and actually have you know proper you know exchanges with people in the real world um you know and because it, it's it's very easy to do like you you know you work like say eight hours a day and then you you're kind of tired out you put your laptop away and then sit back and you know it, it's very difficult to kind of yeah you know it's yeah i think it's great to see that these things are you know are kind of coming back and people coming are realizing back, yeah. that you know you know the face to face meetups are, are really important so yeah and it is i mean i completely agree it's really challenging when you know th- there's this question of how big do you want to grow and what do you gain and what do you lose by growing that big and that's like evident from what has happened to brighton seo as well yeah um, and it's like... it's a, it's a massive i mean it's a massive challenge and i think brighton seo I mean, I love Brighton SEO. I'm always going to have like like a, a bit of a soft spot for it because it's the first like big, con- it, big, it wasn't big back then, that big. But it's the first like SEO conference that I went to. And um, and it is, at the, at the moment, there's good, there's really good stuff around it. Uh, and, you know, I go to see people that I know and I have a chat with them. I don't necessarily with the talks um it's a mixed bag some of them are really really good like the technical ones are usually really good but then it's also about the audience so i might go there and i might think oh i'm not going to go to that talk because it's too basic and i don't think i'll learn something which Mm -hmm. might be a misconception really uh but then we did like on the last brighton seo i went from from our from vixen i went and alex went and mm-hmm. that was her first one that she went yeah. to. So she went to a lot of the talks and she found them all, much more useful than I would. So, yeah. but some of them are like real pictures. I get a feeling that, you know. It's, a di- it, it's, yeah. it's one of the reasons why it's good it's to balance. have such a, di- a diversity of events though as well is that, you know, you, you, yeah. know, you can have the big conferences. And, and it's, it's like when you've got a big co- conference and you've got a big 
audience of potential people that will come then you do and you know you do have to have a lot of generalized talks because yeah, that's yeah. how you obviously you cater to uh exactly yeah, yeah, you yeah. cater to that that yeah. audience and um you can obviously have more specialized talks obviously if you have smaller events but it's yeah, also but like you the... would put in this is the <clears> thing this was the difference with with one of the things that i really liked about women and a, a technical seo is first they kind of they had these like four sections of the talks um and each one of the kind of the speakers was doing one of the sections. So you had, um, what was it? Advance, uh, innovate. I think it was empower. Yeah. That was the last one. So uh, an analyze. Yeah. One of them was analyze. Um, and each one of the speakers kind of fitted into this group, which gave it a really nice structure. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the, I mean, the speakers were amazing. Um, there's some really, really good names like uh, Billy Gina did an accessibility one that I thought was brilliant, uh, that kind of gave, shone a light to something that, that not a lot of, unfortunately, not a lot of people still do. Uh, in SEO, um, I mean, Verushka, uh, I just I probably mispronounced her name as well, did, did an amazing one on localization. But one of the things that kind of really struck me that each one of the speakers um, did their talk had elements that were useful for somebody who's just starting to think about it. Yeah. But then also had elements in there where I was like, I've been in the industry for a long time when I, where I was like, Oh, hang on a minute. I haven't heard about this, or this is yeah. something that I should have a look at. So it was tailored. The actual speech was tailored so that you could get something out of it, regardless of where you are on yeah. your level. So, yeah, I, I can't like, I really can't fault 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 the conference i mean i think i'm i'm a little bit like you know i'm i'm still on a high from it good probably. no that's really good and that's always the, the you know that's always the the sign of a good event and things is that when you you know you're still you know you're still kind of thinking about it like a week later and you're still kind of thinking you know because then you've obviously taken a lot of you know val value away from that and that's the main thing about the events is that you know that's what they need to do isn't it they need to kind of you know yeah. give people something to take away and that they can use in their own practice and um you know, and, then and another they, thing that I'll have you coming back to the next one. So, yeah, I mean, another thing that's really super important, what I found from going to these events for is the venue. I mean, the venue can like make it or break it. Uh, mm. I've been to events at the Excel. Okay, and yeah. honestly, I, I don't when I see somebody having an Excel, um, London Excel event, I just don't go to it anymore because I just don't like the venue. I think it is just not not my cup of tea so but it's very large so what, isn't it i haven't been there yeah it's it? very, like very it's large. massive it's so uh, it's so like so compartmentalized you need to, you need, yeah you need to have like a, a large event in order to yeah <clears throat> you know, yeah and i've been to but there. this is this is what i mean you know like if you are going to be retaining this community feel you got to be careful that you don't like like the brighton center is not bad you know it's mm -hmm. large but it still has areas there. It's a bit here with um, the piggledy, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> You're trying to but find like some of the, the stale. At least, at least it's better there. I mean, seriously, I have like, I think I've been scarred by the Excel. I've been there like, a, what, two, three times for an event, um, mostly like like big marketing ones. Um, and every time I'm like, but no, that's what I'm I mean is that maybe, you know, maybe it's not suited to like marketing events or maybe it's not suited to like the certain types of events. Maybe it is, it's you the know, types the, of events. I exactly. Think. Yeah. It's like, you know, it might be perfect for some of the different events, but actually, you know, it's not, I think it's, you know, it's, it's completely correct in, in terms of like making sure you have the right environment for people to come to whatever, you know, um, you know, whatever kind of event you're running is that it's just making sure that you pair it with the right environment. Don't just go for any yeah. old place is that, you know, it really makes a difference on, on the atmosphere of, you know, especially I think we were, when did I, I think last year we went to, um, uh, I think there's an, uh, a fringe event, I think from, uh, AH refs and we went to, what's up pub? Um, is it Kings and Queens? I think it is on, uh, uh, is it St. George? In Brighton, right? So pub in Brighton. Um, and uh, my geography of road names is terrible. 
Um, so we went in there and, you know, you've got a, but they had like their main room upstairs and it's a very kind of, um, I guess like, it, it's almost like a very kind of medieval type decor kind of pub, right? It's like, it's very wooden and it has like a lot of decoration and it's got, you know, big kind of arches and, and whatnot. Um, and they kind of keep that vibe going, you know, with, with, with throughout the whole pub. But it was actually, it actually worked really well because it was like this, you know, you go and you, you know, you're at the main conference or whatever for Brighton SEO and obviously everything is very conference-like, you know, it's in the Brighton Centre. Then you go to one of these events and actually it gives you a much different atmosphere and it's much more laid back. And it's, you know, you, you could be, you know, engaging with the same content, but actually it feels much different because you're all in a completely different environment and a completely different atmosphere um you know and it really has an effect on how you in, enjoy that um experience um yeah of course. so yeah no i think it, it, it you know yeah it's it's really important um i think so but no yeah i think you're really good to get your key takeaways from that and um you know i think you know going yes, i'm forward, really i mean i would definitely re- recommend if you haven't been to Women in Technical SEO, they have another one coming up in Berlin and Philadelphia. The next one in London is going to be a two-day one. And I think that was my only, no, like one of my, the, I had like only two suggestions really what, what I would change. One of them is the duration. I think it needs to be a two-day one. And connected to that is because they want to pack in as much knowledge and as many speakers and as possible, they had to sacrifice something. And the QA at the end was kind of sacrificed to it. And I think it's important to have that QA at the end. I mean, obviously, mm. all of the speakers were really happy to have a chat with you afterwards. But it's there's something about kind of having that debate after a talk, which is really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean... Yeah, it's it's there's also really, really good recaps um, online if you Mm want to go and have a look uh, what what has been happening. Um, Sidebolt Jojo, who is amazing, uh, has done a great recap and there's one on Screaming Frog as well from their team. So, I mean, it's just it's it's definitely a conference that that's worth going to. Definitely. Yeah, great. Good stuff. And on SEO events as well, and uh, I mean, digital marketing events in general as well, I think, I mean, I, it's kind of strange, I guess it's because probably because I've been looking for them more, but it does seem as if like, you know, there's definitely a healthy variety out there in terms of, um, you know, options to go to. Um, Are there any others that you'd, that you'd recommend? Yeah. I mean, so like MozCon is happening soon. I have full disclosure i've never been to moscon because obviously it's in the u.s and and i i I haven't like had you know maybe vixen digital maybe i should go to yeah we haven't um (laughs) inbound is happening a massive one as well um there is a um seo london xl i think it's called uh they're running the agency yeah Yeah, so the agency that's running uh, blu-ray is one of the agencies kind of involved and they're running now um a competition on linkedin okay. uh, to win a, win tickets i'd love to go to that i've heard really good things about it i've been okay. to a lot of like community because i love the community ones we went um to search london which yes. is yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah which is uh organized by by the lovely joe blogs that's how she's known uh, and she uh, she's brilliant and the event was amazing and the talks were brilliant and that was a, a very you know it was a small community really mm. a community led one um, that I would definitely recommend to to anybody I mean I could go on there's so many out there but yeah those I guess the, plus our one I mean yeah I guess obviously that's, you know, a, good, a good segue semantics. as well because you know shameless <laughs> shameless self-promotion Plug. but I think it's you know it's a it's a good opportunity as well for us to you know kind of announce and, and just have a I guess a brief overview of exactly these reasons why I think you know especially in Brighton um that we have decided to organize and test trying to basically start a 
yeah, a community event really in in Brighton um, for people in the digital marketing industry. So people that you know are working in house or working agency. Um, it's mainly based around obviously search engine marketing, but it's not limited to that. So it's going to be you know you don't have to work in SEM um, to come. We're gonna you know we're gonna have you know a kind of inclusive of anybody that works in digital digital marketing because everything will be relevant. But the main thing I think is it's kind of those things that you can you you miss really and i think it goes back to those mm -hmm. points of like for so long you know we we kind of forgot that yeah we can meet up in the pub right and we can actually have a chat and we can yeah. you know speak to people and try to speak to people from different backgrounds and different agencies or different uh in you know in-house environments with, with you know and um you know i think those those kinds of events have have died a little bit so it would be great to bring it back and which is one of the reasons why we're we're running an event um called semantics s e m and then antics semantics in uh the joker pub in brighton from and it's 6 in the PM... joker pub yeah i mean yeah. it's I in the joker <laughs> yeah okay but it's a but this is talking about environments you know it's a real real beautiful uh, setting you know not long has it yeah. been refurbed um i haven't and... seen it yet yeah, it's brilliant. It's an excellent setting. It's going to be a really good environment. You know, we're we're going to be having uh, a free drink. It's completely free. So we're starting it off as completely free to get people, you know, to an opportunity and give people an opportunity to uh, to come um, and, you know, basically just reconnect with the community. And, and, you know, if they want to do some networking, great. If they just want to have a chat, great. You know, it's it's completely open to whatever you want to make of the event. There's two talks. Uh, there'll be one by yourself on cookies, and there's one by oh, uh, Maggie as well on uh, uh, basically things that are killing your Google Ads performance. Um, and then, yeah, it'll just be time for Q and A, but also chatting with people. It'll be a free drink. There'll be some free food, so snacks and nibbles. Um, and then, of course, if anybody wants to stay on and, and you know uh, keep on drinking or enjoy the uh, enjoy the the decor of the the joker pub then they are more than welcome to stay until you know late into the evening um so yeah, yeah but it's 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 hopefully going to be a, a very good event um we've already got a lot of the tickets um assigned um so please do sign up on eventbrite um i'll put the link um in the description of this video anyway um but the main thing is yeah it's 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 it's, it's there's going to be no sales pitches. It's not like a, you know, yeah. it, 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 it's not about um, coming and kind of, you know, trying to meet clients or trying to meet. It's not about that. It's actually about discussing digital marketing issues. And it's about discussing things to actually, that, you know, that are happening in, happening in our industry that we can learn about from each other. And, and we can all hopefully uh, make some new friends and, uh, you know, help to, to, to learn and do our jobs better, really. So yeah yeah that's Hopefully it that gives a I good mean, when, <laughs> it does and i think you know that's 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 the thing i like talking about digital marketing with anybody i talk about digital marketing with my husband at the table even though he doesn't want to like listen to it most of the time um i just like talking about the work that i do and you know it's sad i find it really difficult particularly now working for an agency is that you know, like, I don't want people to think that me talking about what I love is me trying to sell. It's not. Mm, Even when yeah, I'm yeah, selling, yeah. I'm actually not selling. I'm just talking about what I do, <laughs> which yeah. I guess it's it's a good way to approach it. And I I think it's, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to bring back this little community event feel that I did get at Search London um yeah. that i've yeah. been missing really and that's i think that's what's important i think that you know um you know i think a lot of people that you know have you know like people in brighton especially and i think that's, that's why is that you know we do have brighton seo um but there's yeah. now a lot of people that are obviously a bit further on in their careers that um you know probably choose not to go or they just kind of go oh you know I've, I've done it you know i've done it like i've been there five times or whatever you know oh, you go but um, you go for a different reason you go and oh yeah sit yeah in so, print and have a chat with people i think yeah but but and but a lot of the things you know people move on you know people move on with their careers and people move away from mm. town and from away from and, and no matter what happens so you know networks will and and you know kind of friendship groups and and the industry that you know can obviously get smaller so 
it's to hopefully that's going to revitalize that and give some people an opportunity to uh yeah to 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 meet other digital marketers in the local area um mm. and if they choose to have a quieter um you know event where they can they can you know have a chat in the pub with a beer or or a drink or um a coffee um then they can <laughs> no. do so <laughs> That's yes, getting coffee. I mean, come on, we've got to plug the coffee. Maybe we should do oh. our own. Maybe we should do our own blend. <laughs> blend, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, getting coffee, coffee. I yeah. think, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the next step in our amazing branding efforts. Mm-hmm. Um, and we could even yeah, have like do, you know, if uh, anybody's bespoke interested, mugs as well. uh, have some please do merchandise. come. I'd love to have a chat yeah. with you guys. You can listen to right. me talking about cookies. <laughs> right let's um let's go on to room 404 so we finish off um i think you have a um an addition to room 404 yeah right i do and it's connected to what we were talking about and it's i mean i feel a bit like a hypocrite for saying this but my particularly my in-house soul as well kind of you know while i love understand the commercialization of events and i agree with it and you know we can't forget that people are there also to kind of pro- raise awareness of their services i really dislike when you have talk uh, pitches that are disguised as talks yes. it's not yeah. difficult to actually provide some value in mm. a talk yeah what the problem is when you sit there and you're literally sitting there listening to a pitch. Yeah. And I don't yeah. want that. Like, and, and it's such a bad way to sell as well. I mean, mm. I do not understand how people, particularly in our industry, think that that's going to work. Yeah. You know, that might work for a different industry, but we all work in marketing and you're standing there pitching to me and yeah. saying it's a talk. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think I get that's, really yeah. rolled up about it. Yeah, I think that's one of the yeah one, a good thing really. I think that you know there's something to be avoided or something that I you know I don't I don't really know many people that um that were that are that, that would come away and kind of say like oh yeah that was you know, really informative. I'm happy to have a 20 minute talk where I've just been sold a new piece of software or or whatnot, right? So yeah, yeah exactly. I think it's something which which could be um. Or even if you do get the opportunity, maybe use it for yeah, like you say, to give give something away that's actually like a valuable, uh, you know, share a case study or. But it's the best way to kind of you know, like if you are doing a talk and that talk is a value, that's the best way to kind of showcase whatever product you have or or whatever, because it kind of positions you as 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 an expert in it. You're mm. not an expert if you're just there, like babbling about your service or about your solution. It just, it's just, it's just so cringy. I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I guess it's uh, the the delivery. It's all in the delivery, isn't it? And it's all in the how how you pitch it. I guess you know. Um, I guess there's obviously self promotion, which we've just done with our own event, I guess. But then yeah. there's also I mean, <laughs> yeah. obviously you put in a bit of a plug, you know, and 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 but hopefully people have found out from this talk about some conferences and some things to to go to and yeah. kind of opinions. It's it wasn't just us coming here like cramming semantics down somebody's throat. And plus it's not like semantic is about selling. But no, no, a talk, yeah, yeah. a talk that's like purely about yeah, if I'm sitting there having a demo of your pla- platform, I could, I might as well go onto your website and register it for a demo. I don't need a demo in a disguise as a bloody talk um, <laughs> at a conference. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so annoying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any uh, future people out there that potentially might have Amina in the crowd when they're when they go just just watch out okay <laughs> she... yeah I'm gonna be rolling my eyes it, <laughs> it, it, it does happen it does happen it's just I just don't understand the logic behind it like honestly as somebody who comes particularly for a marketing audience I mean seriously yeah. you, you can you can see through that bullshit a mile away I'm sorry That's maybe true. I shouldn't say bullshit <laughs> That's okay. Anything goes here. Yeah, anything goes here. Um, I mean, I know we were recording this before the watershed, but you know, it's uh, anything goes really on this on this SES getting coffee show. Um, right. 
And finally, just to kind of, yeah, just to say, uh, well, wrap up really, um, we'll be joined on the next few SEOs yes. getting coffee. Uh, we've got a, a number of guests lined up. Um, so SEOs getting coffee, we are actually expanding in our break time. So there's going to be more people that are joining us, which is going to be really good. And hopefully we're going to have some, you know, fantastic conversations about SEO and digital mm -hmm. marketing as we have those conversations when people come in and join us. Um, so thank you very much, everybody, for uh, tuning in again. Um, we will speak to you and see you again next week, I hope. And um, yeah, take care in the meantime. Enjoy your coffee and enjoy your SEO. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.